two notes left, peeps. I'm bored. I get bored when I have to make student notes. I should be that great teacherly person that says, oh, I love making notes. I'm not. So, I mean, I think it's okay to own it sometimes. I'm like, there's so many things I want to be doing, like running an errand to get my e-bike or, you know, finishing up that paper because I've got five paragraphs left so it's due by midnight. Not that I'm procrastinating or anything because I had like all week to do this. But in my defense, though, I finished up my bullet pointed 10 bullet points thing on you know, the documentary. So, I mean, that part's done. But the that is saying the end is done. The beginning is done. The middle's still full of vagaries. But hey, we're working on that. So anyway, what do I want to listen to here while I'm making my last note? I think I'll do this one by Thunder Edits. If you guys haven't checked out Thunder Edits channel, you should definitely, definitely, definitely go over to their channel. They have some really cool ones there. If you like Asian Thai BL dramas, I'm just saying you really, really should check it out. I want to find the song. It is by, oh, who wrote it? James T.W. It's a great song. I mean, the words are nice, don't get me wrong. But I'm like, the piano music is absolutely astounding. Where do you get this? So anyway, I'm like, oh, and I just realized my microphone is like, ah. <laughs> My microphone usually sets with the Google Nest underneath it, and I guess Google Nest and Mikey had a little bit of a fight, and he tossed my Okay. <laughs> but seriously, isn't the music, the piano in this song, very nice? I mean, it's really, really nice piano music. Okay, I'm going back to my notes because I wasn't ADD as a child. I was like uber focused, but as an adult, it's like, well, that went out the window. I blame two years of COVID. Yeah, I mean, it was hard to stay focused. <laughs> But seriously, I mean, this is such a nice piano music song. I'm like, I've got to get the music to this. It seems very repetitive and peaceful, kind of like yoga piano when you play it. Okay. okay. Another note. There we go. That's the wrong teacher note. Okay, let's pull up the right one. So many notes, so little time. <laughs> that is not the right note either. What in the heck? <sighs> go there it is okay like what the heck where did it go i hardly ever use that word but if i do it's like well oh, it, uh, that's my bad word everyone has their own bad word that's mine okay you know if i say that it's probably i'm at the end of my room i had to explain that to a student yesterday we're like, what does that mean? Like, well, when you're not a rope and you have three knots and you're hanging at the end of the end of the cliff going back and forth, that's the end of your rope. Metaphorically and physically speaking. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes visuals are much better than trying to explain it with words, yeah.
I love how in this song, when they go underwater, the Thunder Edits made it sound like this. It was perfect. I'm like, that is so hilarious. One, one left. One. Just made it much more fun. <laughs> autoplay i hate autoplay does anyone else just absolutely loathe autoplay on on youtube i mean you're going along listening to oh so easy and then it puts like a suggestion out there and you're going no i don't want to listen to bts dynamite what are you thinking google i mean no offense i'm just saying it's like you're having a nice peaceful day and then you forget that the autoplay is turned on on your youtube and so you're making like literally 50 gazillion teacher notes and sending off emails and then you know you're having that nice little jazzy music and then they play literally bts is dynamite i mean no offense i think bts is a great band and i know many many people like dynamite it's just not my thing i'm like everyone is so whooped up because it was all in english and i'm like even my students who are learning english they're like Anna, all they do is say dynamite over and over and over again. And I'm like, I know, I can't explain this. I don't even want to try to. It's like, you know, some things I'm just not going to get. And it's like, okay, so who is dynamite? Are they dynamite? Are the people they're talking about dynamite? We need more adjectives and what do we call it? Objects. I mean, we need to know what is dynamite because I'm like, the song, I, I, it's jazzy they dance around a lot but um i don't understand it and you know there's a lot of my students that don't get it either like i know what's up with dynamite about a year and a half ago and i was like i really can't explain that even my, my best friend he's like you know i like some k-pop but that one was just weird because why are they dynamite what makes them dynamite what 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 causes them to be dynamite and i'm like I don't know. I really can't say. Maybe the fan clubs, maybe the screaming girls, maybe just they're feeling festive and have firecrackers. I don't know. <laughs> Needless to say, not a fan of dynamite or autoplay recommendations because sometimes I'm sitting there going, do you really not know me, Google? We've spent so much time together over the pandemic. We really bonded. And yet still, these recommendations you're giving me make me feel like maybe you really don't understand me still, even though you capture all my search history, all my watch list, all my lovely little playlists through your you know, algorithms. You still can't do a better job of suggestions than to suggest dynamite and it makes me want to blow up but anyway so that's my day so far today with the rambles and the bloopers and spleen yurts are clamping okay i guess in taiwan right now it's a really big deal to go yurt camping i think that's interesting i don't you know my great friend my no, my grandfather, the one thing that he said that I think I agree with, even though I really never met him, was that, you know, for thousands of years, humanity has been trying to get within four walls to protect themselves from the elements and has created air conditioning and heating and all those wonderful little HVAC systems and electricity. And yet now we're trying to go back in time to when we lived in tents, which I know some people live in tents still in different countries, and it's culturally appropriate but i'm like i don't want to live in a tent and i certainly don't want to go spend time in a tent in taiwan where there's mosquitoes i mean no not if i have a choice if i have a choice i'm going to stay in a four wall place but anyway i guess right now glamping is very popular in taiwan it's something new every day i learned that from one of my students today it was like huh camping i remember in plus and minus they were showing them going on a camping trip which really just kind of looked like they were going out and kind of using electric stuff and then crashing in a tent for a while. I don't know if I would call it a camping trip. Camping trip, so I was just here, was 
you went where there was no running water, no electricity, and there was a tent. And if it rained, your folks put a tarp over the top and you did not get wet, but it was still a frightening experience. I remember being very, very small and there's a picture of me going, I did not like camping. I think I had strong opinions from a very young age on certain things. And one was flushable toilet and running water that is not a stream. I think, you know, we got to categorize that nowadays. But anyway, I am done. Last no aid. Yay. Oh, now it's on to my brilliant paper with those five paragraphs that will somehow come to me, I'm sure, one of these moments. But anyway, so that's the blooper reel for today.